an island of the dead dolls, really. Off the coast of Mexico City, hidden within the Xochimilco canals, lies an island shrouded in mystery. It is not its isolation that is unusual, but rather the inhabitants that reside there. Thousands of decaying dolls, their limbs twisted and eyes staring blankly, cover every surface. This is the island of the dolls. Is it simply a bizarre attraction or something far more sinister lurking behind those lifeless eyes? Is it a place of tribute or something more sinister? The island untouched by time and reclaimed by nature is a chilling sight. The dolls, exposed to the elements, have faded and decayed. Their once vibrant colors have turned pale and eerie. Some are missing limbs, others their heads, their porcelain skin cracked and broken. The silence of the island is broken only by the rustling of leaves and the eerie creaking of the dolls as they sway gently in the wind. A palpable sense of unease hangs in the air, a feeling that you are not alone. And the story of the island of the dolls is as unsettling as its appearance. It begins with a man named Don Julian Santana Barrera, the island's caretaker. He lived a solitary life, tending to his small plot of land, hidden away from the world. Don Julian was a man of simple means and deep faith. He was known to be kind, but also a recluse, haunted by something that had happened in his past. The locals whispered stories about him, but few dared to visit the island and see for themselves. One day, Don Julian began to hang dolls on the trees. At first, it was just a few, perhaps discarded toys he had found washed ashore, but as the years passed, the number of dolls grew, eventually covering a large area of the island. The reason behind Don Julian's unusual decorations was a tragic one. Legend has it that he found the body of a young girl drowned in the canal, Unable to save her, he was deeply affected by the tragedy. Some say that Don Julian began to hear the little girl's whispers in the wind. He believed her spirit was trapped on the island, unable to find peace. He began hanging the dolls to appease her spirit, hoping to provide her with comfort and companionship in the afterlife. The dolls, in their silent vigil, became a memorial to the drowned girl. Each one, in Don Julian's eyes, represented a prayer, a plea for her soul. He believed that the dolls would ward off evil spirits and protect the island from further tragedy. Over the years, the island has become a popular destination for those brave enough to seek it out. Visitors speak of feeling a strange presence, an unsettling feeling of being watched. Some claim to have heard whispers carried on the wind, faint murmurs that seem to emanate from the dolls themselves. Others report seeing the dolls move, their heads turning or limbs twitching as if imbued with a strange life of their own. Whether these are tricks of the light, the power of suggestion, or something more sinister remains unclear. The island's eerie atmosphere and tragic history are enough to send shivers down the bravest of spines. This story is true. The island of dead dolls is a real place and the dolls are believed to be a tribute to the drowned girl. Would you dare to visit? The island of the dolls remains a place of mystery and speculation. Are the dolls simply a tribute to a lost soul, a testament to one man's grief and devotion? Or is there something more unsettling at play? The island stands as a stark reminder of the power of belief and the enduring nature of grief. It is a place where the line between reality and superstition blurs, leaving visitors to grapple with the unsettling truth. The question remains, would you dare to visit the island of the dolls? Thanks for braving this creepy island with us. Hit that subscribe button and give the video a like. Until next time, stay curious.